The Cuban economy has faced a serious setback over the past few years. Tourism, an important source of revenue on the island, saw a free fall in the number of visitors under COVID-19 and U.S. sanctions. Only Russians kept coming in large numbers over the past couple of years, but even those visits have now stopped after the European Union closed its airspace to Russian flights. In 2021, nearly 200,000 Russians visited Cuba, out of a total of 350,000 tourists for that year. But the Russia-Ukraine war strongly affected the arrivals from Russia, Ukraine and also Belarus. The analyst said that filling the gap left by Russian tourists will require a big effort. The Cuban tourist sector must draw up new strategies, reach out to new markets and improve its infrastructure in the midterm in order to compensate for the loss of the Russian market. Havana and Moscow share close economic and political ties. Those were on display recently during a recent visit here by Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov and contacts between Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Cuban political observers say the outcome of the regional European conflict will influence the Russian-Cuban cooperation. I think Cuba and Russia will keep their bilateral support, but the question is, will Russia's cooperation stay strong while facing the sanctions? This war could last for a long time, and I think Russia will end up weakened. So we have to see how a weakened Russia will keep its support of the island. Cubans could face more economic pain as the Russian-Ukraine crisis plays out on the world stage. And it comes precisely at a time when the country is succeeding in the fight against the pandemic. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.